Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today's video is so overdue. It is finally my zero to three month must haves video. I have been procrastinating this for so long because I knew there was so much that needed to go on behind the scenes before I started this video because I wanted to really make sure that I hit on everything that was a super necessity and really helped out me and my husband Scott throughout the first three months of our daughter's life. She's currently six months, so I also am already planning out the three to six month video. I really wanted to like crack down and talk about a bunch of things that really helped us. And this video, I'm not gonna include things like a bassinet or a car seat, stroller, a lot of those type of things, bottles, because I found that we never really hit the mark, at least in my opinion, on those things. Like I don't find that ours are the best of the best. So I only wanna talk about things that really, really made a difference, at least for us in those first three months. And I tried to break it down by category. I'm going to try to be able to film this all in one sitting. She just went down for a nap. My husband is technically in charge for right now. So hopefully I'll be able to film this all in one sit through. Also, my camera likes to overheat, so we have to also add that into the equation. But if you're not familiar, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. And I had my first daughter in January of 2021. Like I said, she is six months now and we learned a lot in those first three months. It was definitely not an easy first three months. One of the biggest recommendations I will give you is to definitely watch a lot of newborn must have videos because everyone has a different experience. Everyone has a little bit of a different view on why they did or didn't like different products. I definitely have a regrets video planned. I also have a video plan of the actual like apps on my phone that helped me a lot those first few months. So definitely let me know which of those videos you would like to see first, regrets or apps. So if you guys are interested in hearing about all the things that helped out me and my husband and my daughter those first three crazy months of her life, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so the first category I wanted to talk about is clothing. And clothing is going to cover kind of clothing, accessories, laundry, like all those different things. So I have, I think about three actual clothing items that I would recommend. So when you have a newborn, definitely sleepers are the easiest thing to get them in and out of. She lived in exclusively sleepers until her umbilical cord fell off. And even after that, like that was always the easiest thing to get her in, especially those first few weeks of her life. My favorite brand of sleeper are from Cloud Island. So you can get this brand at Target. So this is actually a <laughs> six to nine month one, but she has been wearing these Cloud Island sleepers basically her whole life. I really like the material of them. They're very like comfortable. What I really like is that they zip up from the bottom. So for easy diaper changes. A lot of the ones I had had from Carter that were newborn size only zipped from the top. So you always had to like fully undress her, which is very annoying. But I will say the mittens on the, on the Cloud Island sleepers, I felt like were a lot more flexible and easy to roll over her hands than the Carter's ones. So that was a big winning point for me. She had so many sets of these Cloud Island sleepers. Sadly, 69 months is the, the largest that these sleepers go. So she is officially going to outgrow them once she outgrows this one. But yeah, these were definitely my favorite sleepers and I really recommend them for anyone with a newborn. Like I said, she was in the sleepers until her, her umbilical cord fell off. And once we started onesies and clothes, that's when I realized this is getting hard. Putting anything over a newborn's head is difficult. At least for my daughter, she did not like things going over her head. She still doesn't like it, but at least now I can pretend it's like peekaboo. So if your baby does not like things going over their head, I really recommend these, these type of onesies because they basically completely snap open. So it's almost like the sleepers in that regard and then you just snap them back closed. So they're still wearing the onesies, but they're not, you don't have to deal with the going over the head. So they're really easy to get in and out of. Actually, this brand I have here is also Cloud Island. Um, this is a three to six month size onesie. But yeah, I feel like if you are having a lot of trouble with getting things over their heads, these onesies definitely make a big difference and help out a lot. And I wish I had known about them when I was pregnant because I would have kind of stocked up on them then. And then the last thing I really wanted to mention as far as clothing goes before I get into like accessories and laundry are socks. The only socks that I could find staying on her feet when she was a baby were the Fruit of the Loom socks. These are the six to 12 month size. She did originally have zero to six month size. And I don't know, they're very like 
plain ordinary socks but these are the only ones I would find that fit on her feet. They technically do have little rubber grippies so now that she is starting to like wanting to stand up a lot more it's nice that these do have the grips because I feel a little bit more comfortable about that. But yeah, these were honestly the only socks that I personally could find stayed on her feet <laughs> when she was a baby. Well, she still is a baby, but you know what I mean. All right, now we can talk laundry. I cleaned everything before she was born. I cleaned everything that we get that's new. And I do laundry one to two times a day for her. There's a lot of laundry. Uh, the laundry detergent I do use is the Drift Stage 1 Newborn. This actually is just like a little travel size I have for when we go other places but I have like gi a giant tub in my <laughs> laundry room. I really do like this. I use this like I said every single day. It is a very gentle detergent which is why it's really good for newborn clothes. So what I also have here is the Drift Stain Remover. This is really good for puke stains, baby food stains once you get to that, poop stains, all the stains. I basically just saturate the stain with this stuff and it gets rid of it. It has saved a lot of her clothes. I always get very mad at myself if I forget to use this. In six months, that's about how far down I am. I also actually have travel sizes of this too. I can link that down below too, because I like to keep one in the diaper bag, just in case. And then the other thing I have is, so in the dryer I had, when she was first born, these like newborn dryer sheets and they just, I didn't like them at all. And then I found Baby Gannix, that brand makes dryer balls. And these have been great. It says that these have that you can use these for like a thousand washes. So that seems very good for the environment, first of all. <laughs> and they work really well. I haven't had any issues with drying her clothes since getting this. And yeah, I was really happy to find this just by chance, kind of. And then two accessories I will talk about. So first is sun protection. It's pretty important when it comes to babies. And I don't know when you had your babies. So since I had a winter baby, she's just turning, you know, into like a little human this summer. But you know, you always, if you're wanting to have your kids out, especially the little ones in the sun, you want the, the sun protection. So one of the first things I did wind up getting her was a sun hat. So this specific size, this is a size small, which I think on Amazon said like zero to six months. Um, it does have an adjustable like thing right here where you can pull it tighter and kind of adjust it to their head size. It has an adjustable thing here. You know, I really wanted a lot of adjustableness to it because She's got a small head and I want to be able to make sure it fit on her. This came in a lot of different patterns, this hat, and I believe this has a UPF of 50, which is really great for their heads because baby sunscreen is a whole, is a whole beast in itself and it's not easy to apply. So I always make sure she has something on her head, but this was the first hat I bought her when she was really little. And I mean, she still fits in it right now. Like I said, she's six months. It's definitely, I think, I think it was close to like $20, which is not super cheap, but there are places where I'm willing to spend a little bit more because I want to help her and you know, sun protection is very important. So this was the little hat I got her. And like I said, this came in a lot of different um, patterns. So I think they maybe had less girly kind of ones. This one's very florally. And then I did want to get her bows once her hair started growing a little more. And I did find a pack of bows. If you follow me on Instagram, I post little pictures of her and her bows like every single day. But I think this is a pack of 50 and I think it must be 25 colors. I think there's two of each. As you can see, they're very lightweight. They just have like this little like clip right here. She has never once complained about these. They do not tug on her hair. They do not weigh her hair down. I just kind of clip it right in and it stays in. And I find that this, first of all, stays on a lot easier than a headband. And also some headbands, when I put them on, they leave little indents in her head. I don't like that. So I always feel a little bit more settled when I have a bow in her hair because I feel like they work a little easier. Ah. Oh. I missed something with the laundry. I wanted to talk about my hamper. So a lot of the things in this video I'm not gonna be able to have here either because they're too big or they're currently being used by the baby. But my hamper, I love. So I did get this idea from Jessica Braun. Any channel I do mention, I will link their channel down below. But she basically recommended getting a hamper that has a liner. So I was able to find a hamper on Amazon that has two liners because baby stuff gets really gross. So sometimes when you throw in all that stuff, in the hamper, it really gets the hamper nasty too. So I like that I can take the actual hamper liner out and throw it in with her laundry. But since it has two liners, I'm able to then put the clean liner in while the other one's being washed. So that is why I absolutely love this hamper. And it, it has gotten a lot of wash in the last six months, that's for sure. And I know I mentioned a sun hat and I didn't really talk about like wintery hats and just like little baby hats because 
She had a very small head, she still does, and I could never really find hats that fit her well. The only hat that fit her, honestly, those first few months, was the hat that they give them when they're in the hospital. So she wore that hat a lot those first few months, and I had no problems putting her in that hat because, I mean, it fit her and it looked comfortable, and it wasn't one that she complained about. She really didn't like a lot of the baby hats when she was little. But that is all I wanted to mention in the clothing category. So on to what I call gadgets. Okay, so I don't actually have anything in this category with me because everything's kind of larger or put away. So the first thing was her bouncer chair. So my baby had a lot of reflux. Like she still has reflux at six months. Um, one of the things that they recommend is always having them kind of upright and I'll, although I will say that that never really made a difference. We had a lot of trouble finding something to help sit her upright when she was, you know, teeny tiny and had no neck support. So we wound up finding on Amazon the Baby Delight bouncer chair. And this, honestly, up until maybe a week or two ago, was like our most used thing because she's finally starting to outgrow it. This bouncer chair has been a lifesaver. First of all, I'm not gonna say it was the most helpful with her reflux, but it helped her be able to have independence, which is definitely something she likes. She doesn't necessarily always like being like held and contained. So if she had to sit up for 15, 20 minutes after a bottle, we would at least be able to put her in this chair <laughs> where she could just like play and balance and stuff. But also this chair helped her poop. Like. It would be like, okay, Phoebe needs to go to the bathroom. Let's just put her in the chair so she'll poop. So that was an extra bonus of that chair. It's very similar, I feel like, aesthetically to the Baby Bjorn bouncer chair, but that one I think is about $200. And I feel like we paid about $70 for this chair, which to me, once I found that chair and I read the reviews on it, Scott was like, buy it now, buy it now, buy it now, because we were having so many issues at that point that it was like, we could tell it was gonna be a lifesaver. The next is the Snug Up Swing. I feel like this is a very, very popular product, but Phoebe really did enjoy it. We have since taken it down. I think she still would technically fit in it, but it takes up a lot of room and it wasn't necessarily serving the purpose it once did, which was helping her nap. At this point now, she just liked to like stare at it and laugh. But what I really liked about it is it either could swing side to side or front to back. And I think what we found was Phoebe really liked the side to side swinging the best. So I was really glad that we had a swing that had those options. Like I said, it's really big. It takes up so much room, but overall, like she really did enjoy it. Now I'll talk about baby carriers. So I never found like a sling that I loved. As far as like soft carriers go, I had a baby Catan that had been handed down to me. And I just felt like, because with like a, a lot of those sling carriers, you need to get like the mom's size. And I think I had been handed down a size that maybe was a size too small. So I never felt like she fit in it well. And then I also had the boppy like soft carrier and that one killed my back. So after having two failed carriers, I wound up looking into something that I would really feel comfortable in. And I personally wanted something that was very small, not a lot of material that she could just like be there. And it wasn't like a lot of bells and whistles. And I wound up with the Baby Bjorn mini carrier. Now this is really like a newborn infant carrier. I don't think you can use this much further past a year. So some people like a carrier that can really be used for a long time, which is the one my husband has, which I'll talk about that in a minute. But I really like this. It's small. It's not a lot of material. It's easy to get her in and out of it. And I enjoy this one. The one my husband uses is the Lilla baby carrier. And this one uh, can grow with her a lot. So she's still tiny, like I said, so he can't do a lot of the different things with it, but it is one where she gets bigger. He, she could face out. It's one where he could technically put her on her on his back. I think he can even make it like a side hip carrier. Like that one has a lot more versatility to it, but that's not necessarily something I was looking forward. I just wanted something where, where it wasn't a lot of material. It was really lightweight. It wasn't super bulky and I could just put her in there. Something that is very cool that exists is called the Binksy Baby. And this is almost a hammock and you can put it in your shopping cart. We didn't get to use this at all when she was zero to three months because it was the pandemic. Um, but it, <laughs> we have since used it and it literally goes from one side of the cart to the other side of the cart and it's a hammock. And there's two ways you can use it. One way is literally as a hammock where you can put the little seatbelt across their belly and they just chill. Or also it has the ability to put your car seat in it and then you can strap your car seat in. I've never used it that way, especially with her not being a super newborn. <laughs> 
when we were using this. I never felt like I needed to put my car seat in it, but it does have multiple functions. I always got compliments on it when we would be out at Target because obviously Target's the only store we've used it at, but yeah, it really does work and it is helpful, especially when they're so little. We haven't actually <laughs> had her sit in the shopping cart yet. She's still a little too wobbly for that, but for a little baby, it really is a really cool little hammock. And it still leaves you the room of the cart. So like if you were to put your car seat in the cart, you lose all that room. But if she's in a hammock, you still can put stuff under her. So it's nice. All right, the last gadget I want to talk about is not actually a baby thing, but like I said, she had a lot of reflux, which meant she just puked on everything and anything, including rugs and sofas. So we wound up getting like a little like handheld uh, Bissell vacuum to clean things with because things were getting uh, destroyed <laughs> essentially. I'm not really sure what the name of the one we have is. I will definitely link it down below. But yeah, things things are gonna get messy, so don't be surprised if you have to get new gadgets and such to clean things with. Okay, and now we're on to the sleep category. And like I said, I'm not gonna talk about my bassinet because we had a bassinet when she was born, did not work out for us. We wound up going to Marketplace, like Facebook Marketplace, to buy a bassinet, did that. And that worked for like about a month, but it, it never, like we never really hit the mark when it came to bassinets. But I will say Facebook Marketplace is great because people use baby things for such a short amount of time that you can usually find a lot of what you're looking for on Marketplace and we have definitely utilized the crap out of it. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about are baby loungers. That is something we utilize a lot those first, hmm, I'm gonna say two months. We really use the baby loungers a lot. So we did get the Snuggle Me, which is about half the price of the Daca Tot. And I don't have any regrets not getting the docket top. I really did like the snuggle me. I felt like the way it is designed, it really like hugs them and like makes them feel very comfy. This was really great for daytime naps downstairs. Along with, we also had the boppy lounger. The big difference between the two are is the snuggle me is a flat lounger versus the boppy is kind of a little bit arched. So for reflux, I guess that makes a difference. We used both all the time. Um, it was nice having multiple loungers for different rooms of the house. I definitely recommend either getting covers for them or you know receiving blankets or swaddle blankets to cover them because like I said, babies make a mess and it's a lot easier to clean blankets and, and covers than the actual loungers. Not that either lounger is hard to clean, but you put them in the washer and then they have to kind of air dry, which takes some time. So I definitely recommend covering things when you put a baby on it. As far as sound machines goes, there are definitely three that I'm going to recommend highly. The first I have with me, the other two I do not. So the first, this is from the brand Hush, and this is a portable sound machine. This basically goes everywhere with us. This is great for, you know, moving around the house. This is great for in the car, in a store, at someone else's house, on the go. Like, it is so nice to have one of these with me. It helps keep her asleep, put her to sleep, all that stuff. 10 out of 10, this is one of my necessities. If this ever stopped working, I would go out and buy it again. The next small travel machine is the shusher, the baby shusher, it's very helpful. It basically just goes shh, shh on repeat. It's kind of like our, our crutch when just a plain white noise isn't enough. We will add in the shushing to help keep her and put her to sleep. It's come in handy a lot. But my absolute favorite sound machine is one I said I wasn't going to get when I was pregnant and about three, four weeks in, we wound up getting, and that's the Hatch Baby Sound Machine. This has been life-changing. It's it's my absolute favorite. Um, it's a sound machine that you can control from your phone. You can change the color of it, the sound. You don't need to be in the room. You can be in the room. The sound machine we did have does not reach the volume that we can get the Hatch Baby at, and it's really <laughs> been beneficial being able to turn the volume up. So like, for example, on the 4th of July, People were like lighting fireworks off behind our house because we live in like a, a townhouse like community and like there's just like a lot of open field behind us. I was able to turn that thing up loud enough so that she couldn't hear the fireworks. Sometimes our neighbors or kids are loud. We can turn it up so she can't hear that. Sometimes we're loud. We can turn it up so she can't hear. So it's really nice in that respect alone, but also we're able to put it on timers. So like we have a lullaby start right as bedtime's about to start to get her ready for bedtime. We have the sound turn off when it's time to wake up. It's it's just, you, it, there's so many different things you can do with it that I think it really was worth the money and I would definitely buy it again. I actually hear that there's a newer one where it doesn't have to be plugged in and you can move it from room to room if you charge it, which 
that sounds really cool. I think if we had another kid, we would definitely get that version. I did mention that we didn't really ever find a bassinet that we loved. What I do love is our pack and play. The pack and play we do have came with like the whole top section where there was like a changing pad and like a little bassinet. We never actually used those parts. What we did use is it has this one thing that can take the pack and play from like the floor level to like a higher level. I think it's called bassinet mode. So it's a lot higher. And that is where she has done, I would say, majority of her sleeping is on that top level because it's just the, the bottom of the pack and play just like raised a little. I did get a waterproof liner so that if she did spit up, it wouldn't ruin the pack and play. And I got really, really comfy stretchy sheets. And honestly, like, I'm going to say that I think if we had a second baby, we would just use the pack and play as a bassinet because it's so much easier to use. Like even the fact that the height of it like it's easier to get them in and out whereas like the bassinets I always felt like I was like lifting up and over whereas like the pack and play I could just so easily get her in and out of it like honestly that is probably one of our most used products that we have is the pack and play <laughs> and then as far as swaddling and sleeping and everything we did swaddle I would say her favorite swaddles our favorite swaddles were just the, the ones from the brand swaddle me they are Velcro. Um, we did have some of the zipper up ones. I felt like she never stayed in those as well as the ones where she literally was like Velcroed in. We did also use and still are using sleep sacks. So the first one we got her is from Halo and these sleep sacks are really, really comfy. I mean, this is one of the fleece ones. So basically you zip them in and then you can swaddle their arms in here. But once they get too old to be swaddled, all you do is you put the Velcro around their tummy and then their arms can just be out and free. So this is, it's not like she outgrew this because she couldn't be swaddled anymore. Really like that. And then they also do sell ones without the Velcro and they just look like this. Yeah, these are all ones that she's still actively using, honestly. So this is just like one of the Halo regular sleep sacks. It's like a cotton one versus this one is fleece. And now that it's summer, I found a sleep sack. Like I tried to find, like Google like the most lightweight because our house, our upstairs is always so warm no matter what I do with the air conditioning. So this is from the brand Swaddle Designs. And this sleep sack, she has two of these. These are more like um, a muslin blanket, like a swaddle blanket blanket. And they're so lightweight, but they still do the job of a sleep sack. But I really like these a lot for summer. So depending on like what time of year it is, I really would recommend getting a different type of sleep sack because you either want like fleece for the winter or something really lightweight for summer, depending on where you live, of course. At least here we have all the seasons with all the temperatures. Okay, the next category I wanna talk about is diapering. I'm not gonna talk about like diapers in general, like we use Pampers, but I mean, we tried a bunch of different brands and I feel like Pampers always work best for, for our daughter. A lot of times the fit of a diaper is really unique to that baby. So I would not necessarily go in with expectations of using one type of diaper because it might not work for you, so. I would definitely be prepared to try a bunch of different types of diapers. A lot of registry gifts give you diapers. Your hospital will give you diapers. I would just be open to trying different diapers. So something that helped a lot, and actually still happens to help a lot because we still actively use it, is our diaper caddy. I did wind up getting two diaper caddies. I got one for our bedroom and one for downstairs. So our bedroom was for nighttime changing and our downstairs was, so I wasn't running upstairs to her room every time she needed a diaper change when she was a newborn. And this has made such a difference. We're able to keep diapers, wipes, diaper rash cream, extra clothes, bibs, like anything I need, I have it organized downstairs and it has been so helpful. Like I said, we still use these to this day and I'll probably still be using them until she's out of diapers if we're still doing diaper changes downstairs. Like it's just so nice to have one little area to keep everything. What I will say is I bought an expensive diaper <laughs> caddy and an inexpensive diaper caddy and I like the inexpensive one so much more so I definitely would recommend not getting the expensive and would definitely stick with the less expensive and it has like I don't know I always felt like it had more room and it had more compartments and it just overall I liked it a lot better my diaper bag I really like my diaper bag so when we were setting up our registry there were a couple things that I put my husband in charge of and there was everything else I was in charge of the diaper bag was actually something I said you look it up, you pick one out, I don't really care. I said, all I want is a backpack. I wasn't really picky, maybe with my second, I'd want something different, I don't know, but I'm totally into this backpack diaper bag we have. So it says Halova on it, and I mean, we take this everywhere with us. It's a great diaper bag. 
It's from Amazon. It's really not expensive at all. It has lots of room in it, lots of outside compartments. This is an insulated area here for bottles. Overall, I've been very happy with this. And even if you don't get that one, I really recommend a diaper bag backpack. It just makes so much more freedom with your hands. Just being able to have that backpack on, totally recommend it. We can talk about diaper rash now. She hasn't had diaper rash. Something we do is, I forget where I saw this online, but it recommended to prevent diaper rash for bed at night putting diaper rash cream on and that's what we do. So the diaper rash cream that I have enjoyed the most is the Aquaphor 3-in-1 diaper rash cream. Aquaphor does make two different diaper rash creams. We do have the other one as well, but I feel like this one is probably the better of the two. I really do like this one. Something I do not like. So we have also used the Bordeaux butt paste. And what I will say is I do not like how it leaves like a residue on her, like into the next day. This one just absorbs and it's wonderful. And what helps so much with diaper rash cream are these spatulas. Let me tell you something. When I first saw that they made spatulas for diaper rash cream, I was like, that's silly. It's not. Diaper rash cream is ridiculous. And if you get it on your hands, it's not going anywhere. So being able to just grab some, you know, slather, slather, tie up the diaper, you know, it makes diaper changes so much easier. And I know it seems silly, but it really does help. And if something's going to help you and make a difference and make anything about the newborn infant stage easier, I totally recommend it. Uh, the wipes that we like the best are the water wipes. They do not get dry. It's really nice. I think they're like 99% water. They're very gentle on the skin. They are a little bit more pricey. I don't see us forever using them, but on her little gentle newborn skin, I really like using them. We have used other wipes we've used. Pampers, Huggies, The Honest Company, they're all fine, but day to day, I really like the um, water wipes best, especially when she was a newborn. They were so gentle on her. So at least in the newborn phase, I still really recommend the water wipes over the other brands. Changing pad liners. These are awesome. So we just have a very generic changing pad, like just a regular one, I guess you would say. We have like the cover that goes over it. But what I also have on them are these. So I just throw these on the center so that when we do do diaper changes, if she barfs, she barfs on this. And all I have to do is take this off and throw a new one on. And I don't have to worry about changing the whole like fitted sheet. So that's really helpful. And also I have since learned, these are absorbent. So if she starts peeing while I'm changing her, this will absorb all the pee and not get on the actual changing pad. So these are great. I did get this three pack from Munchkin. I also have a three pack that are the Boppy brand. It's not just unique to Munchkin, but I really do like the Munchkin ones. I really like things from the Munchkin brand in general. We have tons of stuff, but yeah, these, <laughs> these have definitely helped save our changing pad for sure. The last thing I'm gonna talk about, we got because, so all of our wipes are just like in the little packs and then you peel the thing off. And I think one of the ones peeled off and all the wipes started drying out too fast. And I was like, okay, we need something. So I wound up finding this on Amazon. This is from Skip Hop and it's literally just a wipe dispenser. But what's really nice about it is so the wipes come out, but what's really nice about it is it opens and closes very easily with one hand. So you don't have to like hold it and like rip it open. So you can have, I'm trying to have a hand on a baby, but you can very easily open it, pull it out, wipe the baby. It has this within it, which keeps the wipes moist. So it has really good like closure, but it's easy to open and close. It's been a big help. I actually have never heard anyone talk about this. I just randomly found it when I was looking for something to hold our wipes one day. Um, actually the wipes we have in here right now, to be honest, company wipes, they're okay. I don't really have a complaint about them. I just prefer the water wipes. But yeah, that is the diapering section. Okay, the next category is going to be the feeding category. And one thing that I really loved having was my boppy. I took it to the hospital with me and it helped with holding her in the hospital. It helped with when people would meet her for the first time, being able to put the boppy around them and they would feel a little bit more comfortable holding her when they met her. It was really nice when she was first born and she needed those snuggles. And what's really nice about the boppy is it is something that grows with them. So it's like a feeder and then eventually they can like kind of lay in it and then eventually they can use it for tummy time and then eventually they can use it to like practice sitting. So something I really like is finding things that grows with the baby and the boppy is definitely something that does that. Again, they make covers. I definitely recommend having an extra cover just in case. So we did bottle feed. As far as bottles, I cannot recommend a bottle to you. We have literally been through three different brands of bottles with her. We've had a lot of issues with bottles. You don't really get to pick the bottle. The baby picks the bottle. 
What I can recommend is besides getting, making your registries at a bunch of different companies where they do give you bottle samples, also the website baby list where you can actually have all your registries like consolidated together. So if you have a registry at Target, Amazon, Bye Bye Baby, you can have them all centered on baby list to send out one link to people. But baby list actually makes something called the bottle box where I think if you pay about $30, you get samples of five different bottles to try out. So there's also that option. We did do that as well. But like I said, since we did bottle feed, that comes with cleaning. Um, the dish soap I use is the Dapple dish soap. They also make a Dapple soap for a breast pump cleaner if you are pumping. I did also have that at first when I was using my breast pump. I have a drying rack that I got on Amazon that I really, really like. It's white and I felt like a lot of the drying racks were like lime green for some reason and I didn't really understand why every baby bottle drying rack was lime green so I found one that was all white it's really nice and it's not just nice for drying baby stuff like we also use it for like when we wash our toys and stuff but also it's just nice to be able to like hold glass things so you don't have to worry about them falling over so that's an added bonus and then we also have the baby browser sterilizer which is really nice it just gives me that extra confidence that things are getting clean. I also clean her pacifiers in the baby breast sterilizer as well. Uh, my favorite burp cloths were just plain muslin burp cloths. I tried getting different kinds. I had the copper pearl ones. I just didn't enjoy those. Then my favorite ones were from the Comfy Cub brand. They're just plain muslin burp cloths. I have tons of them. I got them on Amazon. I will make sure, again, everything is going to be linked down below. I'll try to organize it. If it's marked with an asterisk, it means it is an affiliated link, which means I would make a small commission off it if you do use my links. So if you do purchase through my links, I do thank you in advance. But yeah, that is all I have for the feeding category. I didn't have a lot to include because so much of it is personal to the baby and the baby's health and the way that baby is functioning. So those are kind of like the things I wanted to mention. Okay, the next category I have is called like health and wellness. It's just like a very general category. I have a bunch of stuff under it. This is probably the category I have the most stuff in. So this is gonna be like, I feel like the bigger portion. So let's just start with bath time. Um, I feel like bath time is a big thing. So we do have the Angel Care bathtub. She's still using it. She's probably about to outgrow it, honestly. But we really like this. I mean, some people don't like it because you do have to fill your bathtub, but I actually find it really easy to use. She really likes it. There's a lot of room for her to like kick and splash. And because, you know, She's been able to use it literally since her first bath through now where she's six months. It's been very beneficial for that reason. And something else I really like is I got this bath kneeler, which also comes with a thing that goes over the bathtub for your elbows. It just helps because, especially with me, like I had a major knee surgery in 2017. So it's nice being able to not have to put my heart, my knees on the hard bathroom floor. And then having that extra little padding over the top. It also has um, little slots in it. So I keep some of her bath stuff in those slots along with some of her toys. So this whole set overall was like a really nice little thing for mommy at least. Other things for the bath that really helped. She had really bad cradle cap. A little like, there's like this thing that's like called a derm thing. I don't know. It was like this little scrubby brush that I saw everyone recommend. I got it and it did nothing for the cradle cap. It wasn't until I found this Thing from Frida Baby that really made a difference. So it comes with two things. So it has like a sponge and then it has like these little scrubby things. You basically, when you're shampooing them, you scrub their head and then it has this comb that you literally comb their scalp. And the first time I used this after she had this really bad cradle cap, literally it went from like zero to 60, like the difference. I just, it literally worked amazingly. And I honestly used this for many months until her cradle cap really fully cleared up. But if I ever forgot to do this step in the bathtub, I could tell because her cradle cap would really start to come back. So this was like such a lifesaver when it came to that. Another thing I got when I was pregnant and I used through pregnancy knowing I would use it for her. And it's just this little thermometer for the bathtub. It lets me know what the temperature is. So I'm able to control it. I usually try to keep it at a certain temperature before I put her in. So I really like that. And then also it's like a cute little turtle. So probably one day she'll want to play with it. And then the other thing I have, um, I think this is from Skip Hop. It's just the bath rinser. I really like this because it has this rubber thing. So first of all, it fits around her head, but also it makes it easier to um, wash her hair out. So I really like this. I think you can also get a matching like thing to cover the spout of the bathtub, which I probably will do once she is more, has more freedom in the bathtub to move around. But for right now we have this and I really do like this. Now something I never thought I would be saying is I did not like baby towels. They didn't fit her. Like she was very tiny and she's always been tiny. But anytime she would get out of the bath, I always felt like I was having to use two towels at a time just to get her all wrapped up. Cause like 
babies don't like getting out of the bath. I think at least for her, like that was her least favorite thing was going from warm, comfy water to air. What I wound up finding out is that kids hooded towels are perfect. I'm gonna give you an example. I have a, a Batman towel here. So these towels have hoods just like baby towels, but they're extra long. So you lay her in there and you can wrap this side around and then bring this side around too. And it's just so, makes so much more sense. Like, yeah, it's gonna be really long and big on her, but I'd rather have too much towel than not enough towel. So we actually just have two like kids hooded towels in here. They're both from Target. I'll see what they have available right now and make sure I link it down below. But yeah, kids hooded towels make such a difference. Okay, now we can go through kind of more generalized like health and well-being things. So one thing that was awesome that I got off my registry was from Little Remedies and they have this just like starter kit and it has a bunch of stuff in it. It has gripe water. Gripe water is great. It really helps get rid of pickups, but it also helps if they're just like a little fussy and unsettled. Gripe water is great. It's not like um, a medicine. It's considered a herbal supplement, but even on here it says, it gently relieves stomach discomfort from gas, colic hiccups, and fussiness. Stomach problems are an overarching theme, I feel like, with newborns. Also, it comes with gas relief drops. It says gently works in minutes. We've definitely been through a couple of these with her. Um, it also has infant Tylenol. Again, so all of these things, it was very nice having them on hand when we immediately needed them. They each come with their own syringe. I can't remember if this set comes with anything, but definitely like those things it comes with overall. Something else I wound up getting from Frida Baby is this medicine pacifier. Honestly, overall, she's been really good at taking medicine from the syringes, but there are a couple things that are a little bit harder to give her, especially with the Tylenol. I really wanted to make sure she's swallowing it all. And it's a very sticky, tacky, like, consistency and sometimes it starts dribbling out and first of all it's a mess but I really want to make sure she's getting it all so there's actually like a little hole in this pacifier that you can push it through and since she's sucking on the pacifier she like naturally swallows it and then once you're done you can just close up the little thing and it's very nifty yeah I usually only use this on things where I want to make sure she's getting the full dosage and not you know dribbling any of it out along with tummy problems um probiotic drops have been very helpful for us so we have the mommy's bliss every day probiotic drops. They also make ones that have vitamin D if you are breastfeeding because I believe breast milk does not have vitamin D but formula does. We just add these into her bottles. I know you can put them on a nipple, you can put them on a pacifier. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to administer probiotics but this this definitely helps a lot with you know digestion and belly issues. We do have the Frida Baby um, nose sucker thing. I actually have never used it. Only Scott has used it. She honestly hasn't had a runny nose like that's been that bad since she's been born. Honestly, quarantine baby, I'm not shocked. But um, something that I have used that I do like, this is called the Oogie Bear. And it just helps if like there's something like kind of right there and you want to help get her at, help her get it out. But baby noses are a lot smaller than fingers. You can just kind of go in there and help it make its way all the way out. For her nails, I do have this nail filer. This is great. Honestly, Scott and I use it on ourselves too. It's uh, It's got all different types of like little heads for different roughnesses. She doesn't feel this at all. I have since gotten brave and gotten um, baby nail clippers. Maybe I'll share those in my three to six months, but even those I'm still a little like nervous about, especially when this is so easy to use and like it doesn't hurt and it's just pain-free and easy. Uh, this is the comb and brush that I have. It's from Dream Baby, which I think is the same brand as the turtle thermometer. I really like, um how gentle the brushes. I've felt other baby brushes that weren't very gentle. I will say overall, I mainly use the comb when she gets out of the shower, but it is nice how gentle this is. And I've had no issues with this set. For a thermometer, it was really hard for me to pick a thermometer because in the hospital, the way they took her temperature was under her armpit. And then once she went to the pediatrician, they were only doing rectal. And they said like, this is the only way to take a infant's temperature, but it was like, they never did that in the hospital. So it was really hard for me to like, grasp that idea and I really didn't want to invest in a rectal thermometer when you're only supposed to use it up to six months anyway. So from Frida Baby I wound up getting this and this is actually just like a temperature one but also it has the option to be an ear thermometer as well and something really nice about this is it has a baby setting but it also has an adult setting so we can actually use it on ourselves as well and I really like it. I have no complaints about the quality of this because the first thermometer we have gotten we had gotten I just I felt like it wasn't getting accurate readings whereas I feel like the one on this really does seem very accurate as far as pacifiers go we did use pacifiers when she was a newborn wubbinubs were the thing she doesn't really use them as much anymore she they I feel like they're a little bit more difficult as they get older but when they're laying on their backs just being able to have the animal sit right here 
I feel like it helps keep the pacifier in. We had a few because first of all, they get dirty. You need to clean them. She moves in groups and if she'd be somewhere else, it'd be nice just to have one in a different location. They come in all different kinds of animals. I do believe more. there's more than just the Love Nub too. I think other brands make similar type of products. The Wubbanub is just the Philips Avent version. As far as like um, sanitizing and cleanliness, that's been a very like hot topic, I feel like, especially with COVID. Um, it's been very nerve wracking having her go out in the world and just like, she can't be vaccinated. So I'm like always so nervous. So there's a couple things that I bought to help like kind of calm my mind. One are, this is from, uh, is Boogie brand? I don't think Boogie Hands is the name of the brand. They make Boogie wipes, so I guess for the nose. So I guess this is their boogie hands. These are antibacterial wipes for the baby's hands. Um, they're alcohol free. They're very like gentle. Um, these are actually biodegradable wipes. You know, I can't really like sit her at a sink and like wash her hands and stuff. So like babies touch things and stuff. So I just wanted something there I could like wipe, wipe down her or anything <laughs> on her. So these have been helpful for my mind. And then something else from Munchkin that I bought. These are in collaboration with Arm & Hammer, and these are natural cleaning with baking soda wipes. These are called pacifier wipes. These are basically for pacifiers, toys, anything that she's gonna put in her mouth if it falls on the ground. So if like you're out and about and her binky falls out and it goes on the floor, like, and that's the only one you got, like these wipes are supposed to be able to clean that, but also be safe for her to then put the binky back in her mouth. So I like having these on hand as well. But that's everything for the health and wellness category. The only category I have left is like toys and playing. So we can get into that now. So newborns can't really play. <laughs> um, there's very few things that they can do in this zero to three month stage. So I have about four like play items I have to mention in this video. And then like one like cleaning product, I guess. So black and white flashcards were probably the first things she really, really enjoyed looking at. I just got this set from Amazon. It's just different like images and shapes for you to show them. This is kind of what we would use when we first initially introduced tummy time to her. You can just kind of like show her things and she's going to look at them and then you can just use like sounds and words to describe what they're looking at and overall that's about as complicated as playtime gets when they're first born. We did have two play mats. The first is the Fisher Price Kick and Play Gym. I think that's what it's called. She loves this thing. This is again one of those things that grows with her and she still uses this today and it's probably her favorite toy because she no longer like uses it to lay down and kick the piano. Now the piano kind of tilts up and she can sit at it and play with it which is great. Again, she loves this. Again, it grows with them. 10 out of 10 recommend this. The next thing we wound up getting on Facebook Marketplace, and it was something that we hadn't had on our original registry, and it was just a general play mat that had the bars that go over with toys that hang down. The one we have is a skip hop one that's sold at Pottery Barn. It's a farm. I don't know if they still sell it. I will definitely try and check it out because again, she's six months old now and she still uses this and still loves this thing. Like it is such a simple concept. It's a plain mat with little animals dangling over in her and she absolutely loves it. It is a hit in this house for sure. Again, with toys, they can't really hold stuff until they really start getting close to that three month mark. And the first toy she was really ever able to hold was this. It's from Manhattan Toys. It's a rattle. I did get this at Target. And because it has so many small little places for her to grab, it really was the first thing that she could hold onto and actively like engage in. And she started trying to like bring it to her mouth. Again, this is still to this day, one of her favorite toys. She loves this thing. So it's really nice how things she still has interest in even all this time later, even though she's developmentally a lot older, I guess you could say. But those were like the toys I wanted to mention. It's not a lot of like toy time when they're that little. It's a lot of sleeping, eating, and pooping. As far as draft goes, I also love their all purpose wipes. I clean all her stuff with these wipes. I also had bought the ones from Baby Gannix. They're very similar, however, I feel like they're a lot drier and they just don't do as much as the Draft. So I definitely would recommend the Draft Surface Wipes over the Baby Gannix. These have been great and I really like them. I feel like I just ran a marathon trying to film this video before she finished her nap, but I did it. Please let me know in the comments if you guys have any recommendations for anyone watching this for your zero to three month newborn phase, chaotic energy, everything going on. Also, if you do, if you are pregnant or if you just had a baby, if you have a newborn and you're going crazy and you do have any extra questions about anything I talked about in this video or maybe I, something I didn't touch on in this video and you're wondering about what we use and how it worked for us, definitely let me know in the comments. Also let me know if you wanna see baby regrets or baby phone apps that have helped us the most during the newborn phase. Let me know in the comments which one you would like to see next. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.